Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Data Breaches, where we cover five of the most interesting breaches from this last week. I'm Steve. I'm Frank. This week, we have cloud chaos and cargo leaks. When hackers strike, they don't just take data, they take plot lines from a techno thriller. Let's get into five jaw-dropping breaches, making June anything but chill. Starting off with story number one, Core IX, cloud infrastructure on fire. Rysita, Rysita ransomware is claiming they've cracked Corex, a major UK cloud provider. That's like robbing the vault that holds all the other vaults. There's something ironic about a company that sells digital infrastructure being taken offline by ransomware. When the faults hosting your servers can't secure their own, it shakes confidence far beyond one client's list. And in an ecosystem built on uptime, this kind of breach doesn't just cause technical damage. It erodes trust in the old cloud model, especially for smaller providers trying to compete with the big players. Yeah. Imagine waking up to find your cloud host is down and your backups are now in a hacker's LinkedIn slideshow. This is also an incredibly frustrating breach to pronounce. H how do you say those words, Frank? Core IX and Rysita. Am I saying those right? Oh, I didn't even know how to say that. Core IX and Rysita, maybe? There you go. Rysita. Anyway. Rysita. Moving right along. To story number two, more logistics, the secret cargo breach. Pandala team, which they are known as a hacktivist group, have claimed to have dumped 425 gigs of data for more logistics, a form laid by them tied to national security supply chains. This one's got all the spice, shadow contracts, Cargo Intel, and Geopolitics. This seems like a spy thriller. The company long trusted booked sensitive cargo under the radar for security agencies just got dragged into the spotlight by the Handala team. Their message, as usual, is nothing stays hidden. The hack itself makes post operational secrets, but the true relevant consequence, of course, is reputational damage. When companies working in silence for governments get breached, it's not just about data, it's about revealing networks that were never supposed to be seen. Nothing screams classified like having your logistics spreadsheet leaked by someone with an internet manifesto. All right, who's ready for another tongue twister? Story number three, engineering exposed. Sarcoma ransomware hit German for Gidgriner. Made off with 52 gigs of engineering and infrastructure data. That's bridges, roads, rail, basically German's version of SimCity leaked. Gib Kreiner does not have a website up. I don't know if the ransomware gang took it offline, but no site to show. Gib Kreiner, you gotta love Germans. So what we have heard is a key player in German engineering and infrastructure consulting. This is the kind of backend contractor that touches airports, train systems, and civil engineering at scale. A breach like this uh, could have wider consequences, not just documents, dependencies. And when terms like this go down, the effects on public infrastructure can show up long before anyone starts to connect the dots. Yeah, someone just downloaded the blueprints to all of Germany. That's pretty scary. Moving right along to the next story. The Weizmann Institute of Science. Four terabytes of hacktivism. The Weizmann Institute was allegedly hit by Handala, who claimed to have exfiltrated four terabytes of data tied to science and defense research. Uh, that's not a hack. That's a hard drive war crime. This is the second one from Handal. Large data. Man, their storage costs must be extreme. The Handal team turning it into a political message uh, with over four terabytes of 
allegedly stolen research, internal documents, sensitive systems, data, wrapped in a manifesto about surveillance, militarization, and resistance. This breach matters not just for what was taken, but for how it redefines academic institutions as targets in global ideological battles. If the data is legit, the fallout could shape research partnerships, funding channels, and the broader trust in neutral science. When a group calling itself Andala claims to have hacked the Wiseman Institute, we're not just, we're just talking about um, a random academic target. They are choosing a high profile Israeli research institution and framing the breach as an act against what they describe as aggression and scientific complicity. Yeah, this is going to be an ongoing story with that much data of defense research. That's the type of thing where you start hearing stories about what was in the data. So much going on right now. And our last story of the day, Ascot Vale Health Group Med Records for Ransom Group Global. Ransomware Group allegedly breached the Aussie Healthcare Group. This is compromising patient records and admin files. It's the cyber equivalent of stealing someone's chart and their appointment schedule. This kind of stories often go unnoticed until you realize real patients are missing appointments, prescriptions, tests, results because of the digital extortion scheme. This isn't just a hospital's IT issue. It's a life impacting disruption and it keeps happening because healthcare remains one of the softest and juiciest targets in the ransomware economy. Imagine calling to reschedule your colonoscopy and finding out the hacker already did for Bitcoin. Patient records are pretty scary in the hands of hackers. Who knows what sort of chaos they can cause by knowing what your blood pressure and your other vitals are. I don't want other than my Apple Watch to know my vitals for now. Final thoughts for this week. From cloud hosts to cancer research and from railways to Rome, ease of political sabotage, June Cyber Mayhem reminds us that everything's online and nothing's sacred. Encrypt it or be prepared to read about it in a ransomware blog. Until next time.